All right, so what I wanna to do today, because my school bus, Ivan, is actually at the spray foam shop and it's gonna be there for the next few days. We did it. We did do it. We dropped her off. Well, we're dropping her off. Uh, we're basically, if we're here, we're paid, we're ready. So unfortunately, uh, we just talked to the lady inside. They're not gonna actually gonna be able to spray it today because of their schedule, which is fine. Uh, they're gonna have to hold the bus for the next two days, actually, which is, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So since I can't work on the bus, I figured the next best thing is to go look for another one. I mean, I have the time right now to just kind of sit down and scroll through Facebook Marketplace. So uh, I figured why not take you along for the ride and uh, we go through Facebook Marketplace together and just see what's on the market right now and uh, give some opinions on what I would and what I wouldn't buy. Now do know that these are just simply opinions. Uh, you know, you're gonna have to go look at buses yourself and make your own decision if it's a good deal or a bad deal. Uh, this is just simply me sharing my opinions and thoughts. So I hope that these are helpful and they might help you out if you're looking for a school bus. But with that said, let's get on to Facebook Marketplace and uh, go look for some buses. I think we're gonna start in New Jersey because that's actually where I grew up and uh, I know the market there pretty good. So we're gonna go take a look there and see what we can find. Okay, so... Let's just type in school bus and see what we find within 100 miles or 500 miles of New Jersey. That's pretty much going to give us a large east coast. So if anyone's on the east coast, these might be buses you would see if you're uh, looking at the time of this recording. But let's take a look at some of these buses and uh, see what we can find. Let's start with this guy right here. So this is a 1998 Thomas school bus, $3,995. Looks like right here, they have it listed in person at 4995, so there's been a price reduction. Uh, it's been on the market for 12 weeks, being sold by a dealership, it says, um, which, I mean, could have just been clicked or could actually be a dealership, who knows. Uh, it's got 200,000 miles on it, which, I'm not usually overly concerned about miles and school buses, depending on service records, but 200,000 is quite a bit if it hadn't had a lot of maintenance on it. Uh, overall, not much other information here, so I guess we'll just look at the photos. Um, so we can click through these really quick and just take a quick look, just so everyone knows. Uh, I have not looked at any of these buses before myself. This is kind of a uh, first impression here to kind of see what we're what we're working with. Uh, can we shake it? Zoom in. Yeah, not much going on in the control panels. Extra things like that. Typical gauges. Swing arm, so it's not air, it's probably got hydraulic brakes then. Uh, okay, so first things I'm kind of seeing right here. So this school bus, if we take a look at it, um, it's a Thomas school bus. So uh, they typically are gonna come, a lot of times you're gonna see them in two different model styles. If you notice right here, this is something that kind of concerns me. Uh, it's a bump down right here. So you can see that it's about a six foot right here, uh, maybe even a six three, and then back here, this is gonna drop down to like a 5'10 or a six foot interior. Uh, this is the opposite of my Green Bus Navi, where actually, if you ever look at a photo of that one, I'll put one up on the screen, it actually bumps up uh, from the driver area, so it actually goes higher in the rear of the bus, which gives a higher uh, living room. So my bus is actually like a 6'3", this one's probably going to be 5'10", 6 foot. So unless you're doing a roof raise, uh, this bus is just a no-go for me from the start, regardless of any of the information we have seen. So. Um, but we'll keep looking just to see what else we could find. Uh, quite a bit of rust up here, um, and then there's quite a bit of rust down here. That's gonna tell me that this bus is probably overall not the greatest bus uh, in terms of condition. It's just, I mean, if you're seeing rust like this, you're definitely gonna see rust on the underside. Um, so that's just something that I'm not gonna personally be interested in. Here's a good shot of the interior. We can kind of see a bit of what's going on, but if you see right here with these curves, um, these curves are a nightmare to deal with. Um, so I mean, in terms of scribing and doing edges, if you're looking for kind of that good headroom, uh, this is probably not gonna be a bus for you if you're looking for headroom, just in general. Um, if you think about it, this bus compared to some other ones we might see, this is gonna force you to do a galley style design, unless you're you know, probably five foot or five five, because you're not gonna be able to walk along the side areas, because right here is gonna be only like a five eight height and uh, you're just gonna hit your head. So you're most likely gonna be doing a galley style where you're gonna be walking right up the middle. But I think that's about it for this one. We can, uh, there's not really any other information. Oh, here's a dealer website. Let's see what else they got. <clears throat> it's a, just a used car dealership. So um, who knows, they might've gotten it from, there it is. So maybe they got it from someone, bought it out, and they're just reselling it. But uh, that bus, honestly, I would probably walk from, not even look at. It's just not really worth it. Uh, here's a short bus. Let's take a look at this one. Um, it says 2500, I believe. Yeah, so 2500. Um, 
This photo ain't that great to really help us see anything. Uh, 2,500 multiple vehicles. So there must be more than one. Yep, there's more than one available. Uh, it says, it's a 2006 20 passenger school bus, runs good. AC has a good inspection sticker, good for RV use, blah, blah, blah. 2,500 or best offer. So that's nice, 25 or best offer. Um, that's really low. Um, I, I don't usually see buses for around that pricing. My blue bus, Ivan, that I actually just uh, got and I am building out right now, I actually bought for 2,500 cash. Um, so that is towards the lower end of the market, 200,000 miles. My bus had 70. Uh, you're not really gonna be able to finagle with that one too much. Um, but there are some good things from just clicking through these photos that I'm seeing. So in terms of looking at these buses, I'm assuming both are for sale. This front one, I wouldn't even look at. Um, this back one would pique my interest, uh, mostly because of the body styles that I'm seeing here just from these photos. So we talked about it in the previous school bus, but I mean, if you just see this body style that's going on right here, uh, it's just a limiting body style. I mean, if you wanna do a rooftop deck, you're gonna deal with the curves. If you're gonna put solar panels, you're gonna deal with the curves. Scribing the inside, cabinets, everything. I mean, this is just gonna be a bit more extra work than I'm probably looking to get into especially because right there is another bus that has a completely almost flat top and square side. Uh, that one's just gonna be simply easier to build, a lot more roof space to be able to do things with. You're not dealing with angles as much. Um, so for 2,500, 200,000 miles, I mean, if you're mechanically inclined or have a little bit of a budget to kind of put some money in, uh, that back one right there might be worth looking at actually, uh, just because I mean, get it for 25, um, tires are probably good hopefully, you know, I mean, you may be putting about a thousand into the engine and uh, you can walk away with a pretty good bus, a 2006, I mean, for, you know, 35 all in. That might be pretty good. I don't think there's any, there's no interior, huh? There's an interior shot. Not a very helpful interior shot, but. All right, let's keep looking. Um, this one kind of looks interesting. Just <laughs> someone spray painted it and uh, went kind of crazy. So let's see what we got. <clears throat> Okay, so this one's just, you know, kind of painted, used a little bit, is not a, you know, crazy build out, but schoolie running conversion in progress, needs some love and finished, has a DT466 engine and Allison automatic transmission, tires are good, has less than 125 miles on it. Spring ride, axles very strong, has new wood stove, solar panels, and Kenwood stereo surround system. Okay, so I mean, let's just, you know, if anyone's out there and there maybe find a bus that uh, has already been partially kind of worked on and touched, what are we looking at here? Um, overall, in terms of the bus, uh, international bus, not really too concerned about it. I mean, it's it's, it's a school bus, uh, DT466. It's a 1998, so that would be a pre. That would be a pre-electronic 466, I believe. I can check that and I will confirm that in the video. I believe so. And then uh, overall. I mean, it's got a handicap door in the back. It's just a standard school bus. I mean, not much to it. Uh, this doesn't really have any value to me personally. I mean, it's nice to see that they have a solar system and all, but uh, that's just a typical battery charger. It's not really gonna be what I'm looking for. It's not even clamped on. Uh, totally works for you know someone who's just camping and stuff, but in terms of uh, looking at value, uh, this is not something that I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, that adds a lot of value to the vehicle, um, but I mean, it is nice to know that you do have something there. In terms of the paint, I mean, you're really just looking at someone just spray painted the inside. If you're gonna be gutting a bus uh, for what, 3,500, this might not be the worst bus out there because you're probably gonna gut this anyway or you're gonna build into it and you can just repaint it. So, I mean, it's not really the end of the world or maybe you like it and you just wanna buy it. Uh, here's the surround sound system that I'm seeing here. Uh, once again, I don't know if I would personally see much value in these, uh, just because they're not gonna be able to be recessed into a wall. Uh, they're pretty big and bulky, so unless you're planning on having them exposed in your final build, there's really not much value there uh, in terms of rebuying a school bus. This stove, I'm kind of surprised that it's even going for 35 that they're selling it. I mean, it looks like a pretty good stove. Um, I mean, that right there might be just worth buying the bus and taking the stove. I mean, I don't know much about that type of stove and whatnot, but I mean, looks pretty good. Uh, overall, I mean, hey, you know, if you're looking for a bus, uh, someone already put a little bit of love into it, this one might actually be something worth of a look. Uh, for 35, I mean, if the engine's in good shape, if you look past the entire interior, you might walk away with a walk away with a good bus right there. Uh, 2003 Bluebird, let's look at it. I don't think we looked at a Bluebird yet. So, Bluebird, it's a flat. 
All right, and boy, there's really not that many photos here, but selling 2003 Bluebird 48 passenger school bus, uh, diesel 168,000 miles, uh, drives not inspected, uh, inspection ran out 320 asking 49 cash. I mean, it's not horrible. The price doesn't necessarily scare me away right away. Um, yeah, I think this bus is actually a pretty, I mean, I'd, I'd take a look at it. I mean, why not? Uh, it doesn't seem like, I mean, there's some typical body bumps and stuff on the, the edges. I mean, I don't see any visible signs of rust within the photo. Uh, they are missing their brakes right here. So, I mean, either they're lost, something happened, who knows? Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not really many photos for us to go on here. But I mean, hey, for 49, it's probably worth a look. I mean, I don't know what you could probably maybe end up getting it for depending on the condition. You just gotta go and look, but I mean, if you're close to the area, this one would probably be something I would look at. If you're thinking of what this one might look like when it's done, uh, actually my friends over at the Frugal RVer, uh, they actually have a Bluebird flat nose, pretty similar to this one. Um, so I could put one up on the screen of what that looks like, but yeah, that one might actually be worth a look. Ooh, this one piques my interest. Two, 3,000 for a short bus. That's a, usually a pretty good price. Uh, Okay, so it's a dealership, so, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't have a thing for or against dealerships, just kind of a question. Oh, look, we got a bump up right here on the Thomas, so we got a higher rear end, so that's kind of nice to see. I don't understand why they don't just, like, just make the whole thing the same height. I mean, it just seems like more work for the manufacturer for me. But, uh, 198, 190, I think that says 100, I mean, this is 190, so 192, they're saying, so, I mean, not horrible. Um, inside of the bus overall, it's got a rear AC. Um, I always tell a lot of people that it seems like it'd be a great idea to have this AC, but it only runs off the engine. So the actual issue here would be that uh, you're probably gonna be ripping it out. So buying a bus with this, unless you're really set on keeping it running off the engine, uh, it's just gonna be more work for you actually. So might be something to think about. Uh, in terms of photos, there's not a lot for us to go off of here, but uh, from what I'm seeing, I mean, for $3,000, eh, I'd probably contact him and just get some info and see if it's something worth looking at and going for. Um, here we go, maybe our first dog nose bus right here. Conventional chassis, click on through this one. So this is a 2011, they're selling for 7,000. That's a fairly new bus, I feel like, for people to be buying on the market. Um, I would typically probably just not buy it because not because it's like, you know, new or anything and it's an issue. It's more of just, you know, for $6,000 for a school bus, I mean, it's just going to depreciate so quickly and you could just find a 2008 or 2007 for half the price. And uh, just so anyone knows, buses don't really change too much over the years. So, um, you know, it's not too big of a deal. Overall, looking at the bus, I mean, it looks like it's just a pretty good bus. Uh, I'm not seeing anything that's too wrong with it. Nothing too bad. The ceiling height's probably pretty good in this model. Um, you know, if you're just looking for a straight up bus and you for some reason really want a newer one, uh, this one might be worth a look. But uh, personally, just because of the pricing, um, I just don't think it's worth it because we could probably find one that would be in just as good a condition um, that would be, you know, just a little bit older. So this one looks like someone did a bit of work on it. 2005 GMC Other. Uh, which I'm assuming they're just referring to the fact that it's a GMC chassis, but the back is probably a Thomas or a Collins or, you know, something like that. Um, yeah, so they're just referring, GMC Sierra, they're just referring to the chassis. It's a dually, so it's most likely a 3500, I'd imagine, on this model. Um, so school bus has been renovated, includes full down table, couch that pulls out, bed, power inverter, solar panels, extra outlets installed, and can hold 13 people with seatbelts, laminate flooring installed for easy cleaning, um, 3,500 miles, that's enticing. Needs new transmission, that's not enticing. That's, that's a killer. Ooh, shorty, I like shorties, here we go. Um, oh, so it's pretty much still all there. Uh, but let's just look at something really quick. See this, see this right here? This is a harsh curve, I mean, harsh, harsh curve. Um, this thing like, it would be a nightmare to build. I mean, that would just be so hard to work on. Um, I mean, trying to put a rooftop deck on that thing, trying to put solar panels, you just lose so much right here. Um, but I mean, for $4,000, 142,000 miles, um, I mean, if it didn't have that roof line, I would totally go look at it. But I mean, you know, just a little bit of cleanup, 
power wash the thing and this bus will probably be pretty good uh, and you know just keep on looking let's find let's find another one in here somewhere uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. I guess we can take a look at this one. I mean, it's a somewhat finished 2001. Uh, looks like someone put some work into this one. Uh, nice little design going on here. Um, it is pretty simple though. I mean, there's not uh, a lot going on. They've got a lot of, looks like 120 wiring going on. Um, Looks like someone's just walking away from a project. Pine ceilings, red's great, went to live north. Yeah, 1500 or best off a trade. I mean, yeah, this one might be worth something to someone. You know, they can finish off a project. If you're someone who maybe, you know, is just looking to kind of finish something up and get into something, this might actually be a really good option for you because, I mean, you don't got to do the ceilings. You don't got to do the walls. Um, the only question I would probably want to wonder is uh, how was it built behind these walls? Was it insulated well? Was it not insulated? Um, just so that I know what I'm getting myself into. But... That one might be good for someone who uh, is looking to just kind of get into a build halfway and move on. It looks like we are going through a couple buses here. Let's go look at this one. So this one is, so this one is a 2006 International PB105 school bus. They're asking 5,800. Uh, I mean, that's not horrible for a 2006. AC front and back works, heating works, can be made to RV or camper, 157. Thousand miles, great condition, handicap. Uh, so no seats there. Lift works, air suspension, seating 21, um, automatic transmission, Allison motor, VT365, can be used as a conversion, normal tire. Okay, uh, so let's take a look. It looks like they have quite a few photos, so we could probably really kind of look through here. So they've got the lift, got the front. I always like seeing the cleaner interior dashes. Just, I don't know, makes you feel good. So, all right, so quickly going through these photos, I can say this could be a good bus. That's that's kind of my first, or at least I would go take a look at it. Um, and the reason why is because I do think that just clicking through it, it does look pretty clean. The mileage doesn't necessarily scare me too bad if it's been taken care of. It's got an engine block heater because uh, it's got a cord hanging out here. Um, the roof line's not my favorite, but I mean, it's not horrible. Uh, it's not the worst. It's got good length um, for someone who might be looking for that kind of larger bus. Um, Handicap doors right there, which can be nice to be, you know, for design, uh, doing something kind of cool and special. A couple things I would say about the school bus that would kind of drive me insane while gutting it is uh, most likely you're not keeping this. I mean, most people out there, maybe uh, if you are someone who is handicapped and looking for a lift, this would be a pretty cool bus because you could actually just, you know, use this to get in and out of the bus, close off the front door, and uh, this would be a really easy way for you to actually live on the road and make it completely accessible. I mean, that's one thing that I actually really like about school buses is that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's kind of really universal for anyone who wants to live on the road because handicapped buses are made for wheelchairs. Uh, bad news with all this is these tracks are the worst to get out. Um, these things are... Uh, yeah, these are just going to take you forever to take out of the flooring. Um, what these are used for is to strap the wheelchairs down. Um, this is like their seatbelts. They rack into the floor, and there's also a bunch of them up here on the wall, which maybe they show in another photo. Yep, oh, there you go. So up here, they got these rails up here. Uh, those, they're just a nightmare to take out. Uh, so, I mean, in terms of a bus, uh, the two things that are negatives to me are these actual chair rails, which you're going to find with handicap buses. There's just a lot of them, which is just going to mean a lot of work. Uh, also, we have an AC back here again, which personally, I'm not a super big fan of just because, like I said before, I would be ripping it out anyway. So it's just more work. Uh, might as well just find one without it. But I think this one's worth a look. I mean, price points around in a range where there's some negotiation um, and, uh, you know, 157,000 miles. That thing's still got a good life left in it as long as it was taken care of. Uh, another thing to notice right here, the international school buses, a lot of them are going to have these larger doorways. They, they have this big wide entrance. Uh, my green bus Navi, which is a Thomas, kind of has like a weird kind of sidestep 
uh, cut, which kind of makes this area a bit smaller. So that's kind of nice to have a big, nice entrance. Uh, you could definitely get a nice camping RV door in here, um, or you could even weld these doors shut and then make it like a traditional door. Uh, but you've got a lot of options here with this um, style. Yeah, that one might be worth looking at. All right, it looks like we're kind of getting out of the buses. Maybe we'll go to the West Coast real quick and just uh, see what's out there. Uh, let's go to San Francisco. We'll go, we'll go Salt Lake City. 500 miles of Salt Lake City. Let's see what you got. <clears throat> All right, we got definitely got some different options here. I'm expecting that out west we might find a couple more finished conversions for sale on here, but uh, just, this one just piques my interest because I like the way it looks in the front. So 1984 International, 30 passenger short school bus, 4,800. Um, it's kind of hard to price older buses like that. I mean, it's a bus is a bus at that point, uh, unless it's got like some vintage body style, which this one's kind of cool, uh, but it's not exactly vintage. Uh, 19, all, all seats are gone and ready to start for a camper. So it's already ready for a camper. You've already dreamed about it. This vehicle runs really well. Good clutch, has tires. Ooh, clutch. Ooh, that's cool. I'm a, I want this bus. Littleton, Colorado. I'm going to call my friend and be like, hey, go look at this bus. It's a short bus, but not a four-wheel drive. Yeah, well, that would be awesome if it was. I'd be buying this thing in a second. Uh, but okay, well, let's look through some of the photos. It doesn't look like there's a crazy amount of them. There's really not. I'll put it this way. Piques my interest. I mean, it looks clean. It looks like they took care of it, or at least someone was maybe going to convert it. I don't know. Um, if I was in Colorado, 4,800, it's a pretty cool look. Maybe it's worth it. Take a look. All right, if we keep looking, I'm not really seeing a lot of buses at this point. So I guess 500 miles of Salt Lake City. Uh, anyone who's in Salt Lake City, I anyone in Salt Lake City, I guess you've bought all the buses at this point. So we're gonna go to like Seattle. Let's go see what's over in Seattle. Just give us a different area of the country. All right, we got a few here. Uh, let's look at this one. We haven't looked at a lot of flat nose buses, so maybe this is a good one. So it's a 2003 International asking about 5.5. Um, it's got a 466 electronic, 220,000 miles. Oh wow, they got a lot of information. Air brake, 75 passenger, 38 feet bumper to bumper. Interior height is 77 inches. Outside storage box, it does, and it has no wheelchair lift. So, okay, uh, let's look at the photos. I will say right now, just looking at it, like this is just a nice body style to build. I mean, it just, it's not too harsh. Um, you've got some good roof space for some solar panels. I mean, it would be a pretty easy build right here. So this is looking like the underbody storage right here. So, I mean, that's some pretty good storage going right past through the frame rail all the way to the other side. I mean. That's awesome. That right there is a huge advantage because you, I mean, water tanks, deep storage, uh, mechanical tools. I mean, that's great. Uh, that's awesome to have. Um, so looking at the back of the bus, I mean, we can see some body damage here, but I mean, that's fixable. It's not the end of the world. Uh, that doesn't overly concern me. It looks pretty clean. I mean, I'm not seeing a lot of rust here. I'm not seeing a lot of paint fading, you know, things that would just kind of show wear and tear. Um, Overall, let's see, uh, would I buy this bus or would I, uh, I'd go look at it. I don't know. Um, it all comes down to what it looks like when you get there, but I mean, this one might be worth looking at. It's got some good length to it. Uh, definitely could fit a family in here, a pretty good build out, you know, something to really look for. So with saying that, you know, I probably would take a look at this bus. One thing I'd want to point out is looking at these tires. So um, obviously every bus is gonna have of tires. And a lot of times in photos, which, you know, uh, I haven't seen yet, today, but people will take photos of the tire tread and they'll show like, you know, hey, the tire tread's pretty good, it's pretty thick, um, but you know, it's not really my concern. I mean, showing good tire tread is gonna tell me that, yeah, the tire hasn't been driven on a lot, but that doesn't necessarily tell me that the tires are still in good condition in terms of date and dry rotting. So, um, you know, if you're ever looking at a bus and you see really good tread, the next thing you're going to do is go look up uh, how to read tires and see what the dates are for manufacturing. And they're going to be somewhere within this wall. And that's actually going to tell you if the tire is good and if they need to be replaced or not. Uh, just because they look good does not necessarily mean they're safe. So uh, definitely something to look for. And just so anyone's uh, out there interested, these types of buses, uh, you know, you're just gonna spend anywhere 2,500, four, five grand for all new shoes on these things. So, I mean, this bus is going for five grand. If you need to put new tires on it, you pretty much spend eight grand right out the bank. Uh, you, you, you bought a bus and you immediately put three grand into it. 
you know, that's something you want to consider. It might not actually be a good bus if you need to buy tires right away. Um, something to consider in your purchase price. All right, uh, here's another one. It's in Idaho, uh, 173,000 miles, 1988 Thomas bus. Um, it's got a Detroit 8.2 liter four stroke, Allison automatic transmission, starts right up, runs great, so on and so forth. Some seats are very removed, but they go with the vehicle. Okay, um, so overall, looking at the bus, you know, uh, it doesn't look good uh, to me. Mostly, this bus could be a great bus to drive, uh, but in terms of conversion, um, right here we're seeing that bump down what we talked about previously. Um, unless you're doing a roof raise, this is just something that, it just why? Why give up the headroom? It just, <laughs> just why? Um, and then, uh, you know, it just, you got some rust coming through here. Um, overall, I mean, even for, what are they asking, 35? I would probably just still pass on a bus like this just because um, it it's just, you could find a better one out there. Um, you know, it, it buying a bus is something you don't want to rush and uh, you know, you want to just find the right one for you. So, I mean, these have already been deleted. Um, we've got some rust down here that's going to really have to be addressed. So yeah, I mean, overall, if you're starting to see some of these signs, if you're starting to see some of the rust coming through, where was that one on the side? Like all this and here, this might be rust or dirt. Um, this, like just just pass, uh, just just go find another one. I mean, it's just not worth it. This bus, like I said, could be great for, you know, someone just looking for some, you know, moving and hauling wood or having on a farm, great. Uh, but for conversion and when you're gonna be putting some money down to be building your home, you might as well build it on a good foundation, go find another one. Uh, it's usually just your best bet. So this one's already had some work done to it, but I mean, 5.5, five, uh, they're asking for this bus. And so since purchasing, they did some things to it. Um, they also re-registered as a motor home in their state. So it's an easy transfer for plates. So, I mean, that looks good. Uh, it does have 300,000 miles on it. Um, so, I mean, it's got a lot of miles, but you know, let's take a look and just see what we can see just in the photos in general. Um, so yeah, they did quite a bit of work to it already. Um, so looking at this bus, I'd probably say, I mean, for 5.5, five, they've already done quite a bit of work for you. They've already gutted it and painted the floors. Um, they've already put new flooring in. They haven't necessarily built into this yet. So this is still a pretty good opportunity for someone to pick this bus up, strap it, spray foam it if you wanted. Um, it's not that far into the build that you couldn't you know, uh, really finish this off your own way at this point. So, I mean, for 5.5, five, you know, bring a mechanic with you, go check it out. Uh, but this one might actually be pretty good too. I, I might, if I was in the, the market, I might actually, you know, give a look at this one because you might even be able to find something, meet some cool people who uh, were looking to get into the bus life or maybe still are. But yeah, well, I think that's gonna be the last one. So. All I can say is I, I really hope that this video was helpful. Um, just know that I'm just simply sharing my you know personal opinion looking through these buses. Um, I don't personally know any one of these people who are selling these buses. I don't uh, have any relationship to these dealers or anything like that. I'm just simply a guy scrolling through Facebook Marketplace and sharing kind of my inferences and opinions on what I would do is I if I was currently looking for a school bus. Um, so if you are, uh, maybe one of these actually piqued your interest and they might still be on the market at the uh, time that you're watching this. If not, uh, I hope this information was helpful in helping you find the bus that's right for you and uh, just giving you some insight into kind of how to vet through different things you're seeing online and which ones might be worth you going to see and which ones might be something you want to pass on. But I hope this video was helpful and I think I'm going to pick up the bus tomorrow from Spray Foam. So we'll see you back on the bus build. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Reach. Wow. Reach. I know. What? What? Oh, it like looks like a house for once. This is, okay, this is the first time that this thing's starting to look like a house. Like, foam, 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 foam. Oh my gosh, it's so good.